channel. I just got back from a walk and I got back from the grocery store on the way back uh, making myself a eggs and peppers or pepper and egg sub. So I just took a $20 bill with me and I needed to get some eggs anyways. So I got the eggs and I think we know what the eggs go for. But it's amazing how quickly, like if you go with a limited money and you don't have like your debit card, you gotta pay attention. So I made a mistake of getting, I've got this leftover pepper that's starting to get wrinkly and I gotta use that. But I decided to get for the future subs, three more. These are three for five, three for five dollars. I could have done without them because I, my sweet tooth started affecting my uh, buying decisions. But I was able to leave without anything because uh, anything sweet because I've got Oreos. I think I've got one. Um, that it's. Uh, the names, an ice cream, and um, I've got the Kit Kats I haven't even gotten into yet. Or maybe I did one. I had one. So I wasn't certain if I could get, um, what was it I wanted to get? I'm missing something here. Oh yeah, barbecue chips. I said, well, instead of ringing it up and then going over and having to call over the person to cancel it, well, why don't you just do two? So the first one was uh, the eggs for five forty nine, the sub rolls for four sixty nine, and then the peppers three for five dollars. And that came to 15, 18, so then I had enough. I used this indoor, in-store scanner for the first time to figure out how much the rolls were. And so I had enough, because the chips were for 79. Everything is like $5 now if you go in. Like I said, the eggs, $5, 549. Peppers. I got three, five dollars. That's a small, enough small. It's that was a, yet a smaller one. It's uh, seven point three four ounces. That's odd. I've never seen three quarter ounces. Usually they go with. I guess no. It wouldn't be three point seven five. I don't think they would do that. Anyways. I know that these uh, peppers take longer to saute than the onions. The last one I made, the onions were kind of soft. I want a little bit more firmer onion. So look at this. Each one of these is a potential pepper plant. Grow your own peppers. So I like, like this. So 
right, that's it. Let's make the sandwich. All right, I took it out of the pan so I didn't want to overcook the eggs. Look like they're already a little bit over. But I've got the roll. Would have been nice to put it in the oven a little bit. I was going to broil it with some provolone, but I forgot that I finished the provolone. So I have my eggs. Uh, this isn't very deep here. I've got peppers. I'm going to have to use my fingers. Oops, peppers.
what I was thinking of for the dessert was a Klondike bar. About a month ago I bought, I wanted a Klondike bar, I reached in, grabbed a Klondike bar, go home. I don't know if I had it that day or the next day, I'm like, I bite into it, I'm like, what is this? It was like, it was almost like uh, shaved ice, but without any flavoring on it. Even the chocolate was, wasn't sweet. And then I looked on it and it's, it was the no sugar added. It was terrible. So I made sure to reach in and make sure I had the correct one this time. And peppers get sweeter as you uh, saute them also, so it's just a great combination. save the uh, the rest of the pepper and eggs for another sandwich that was just so good the brand of potato chip I got from the sub shop. These seem, I like the flavor, but I think there's a little less sodium on them. The other ones were very, they were very, very uh, salty. I have to tell you, I had uh, the money. 
munchies the other day and I finished the, uh, what was left. It was like a half a bag maybe. Or, or did I have an un, I had the unopened bag? I had some. I think I had the left, the, the rest of it. And the next day it was like I had a hangover. This year I might have had two six packs.
two sides slide out from the ice off from the ice cream. documented it. The TV came on by itself. I almost get like goosebumps. I don't know why I got goosebumps this time. Because I wasn't expecting it. So the funny thing is, is that when, when it gets turned on remotely, I don't even know if it's remotely because what happens is I can't turn it off. It doesn't respond to the power button. It doesn't respond to my remote. I have to turn off the power. After I watch, like Sven Gooley, I turn the power off and evidently I forgot. I had a fright the other day. I have a, uh, a paper shredder and it has an automatic, you know, feed. It senses when you put the paper in, of course, and it shreds the paper, and then it stops. Well, I went and I take a shower, I come out, and there's this sound, and I don't know what's going on. I don't know if there's a contractor next door or something like that. I couldn't, you know, you, you can't process it when something like that happens. The paper shredder turned on all by itself. It was off when I went into the bathroom. There's something wrong with the, uh, the, and it was warm. It's a good thing I didn't, uh, it's a good thing that didn't happen when I wasn't home. Because uh, I think the motor is supposed to have an automatic shut off when it gets too hot. But that thing was just going constantly, wouldn't turn off. Let me turn the TV off. I don't think it's loud enough to pick up anything from YouTube to get a, a strike or something, but you never know. The first time that happened, I didn't know. I thought somebody was in the house, so I didn't know what was going on. It took me a second to process it. Oh, 
and uh, I added that that thank you feature that Amazon uh, Amazon that YouTube offers. I saw it on other people's videos, and I'm like, what is that? And I think it's sort of like YouTube's version of PayPal. So just to let you know that that's another feature that I've enabled on the YouTube videos. So thanks again, everyone. Till next video. Bye.